hi everyone welcome back to my channel style by c today's tutorial will be on how to make a reversible peplum top please do subscribe share to friends and give us a thumbs up and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell for more interesting videos thank you body to enable me cut out my pieces together so I'm going to be marking the half length I'm working with. So the half length I'm working with is 16 and a half. All right, so that's my half length. This is going to be serving as my shoulder line. I'll go ahead and insert my shoulder measurement to it. One inch down, which is going to be my shoulder slope. Then here is going to serve as my chest line. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be marking my neck depth in width. I'm using three inches for my neck width, and I'm going to be connecting it to my one inch shoulder slope here. All right, now I'm going to be dividing what I have in my elbow by two. At that point, I'll come in by half an inch to enable me get a curve into my elbow. So this is what I have. Now I'm going to be inserting my bust measurement. So my bust measurement is eight and a half plus two inches seam allowance. You can decide to work with one inch seam allowance or one and a half inches seam allowance. So I'm working with one and a half. All right. Then I'll go ahead to this point and insert my waist measurement. This is just like making a normal basic body. Okay, let's forget about putting the seam allowance and just draft a normal basic body without any seam allowance, all right? So this is what I have. I'll go ahead and cut it out. All right, so this is what I have now. What next do I do? I'm going to be coming to the sugar line here. I'm going to be coming in by half an inch. I'll be coming in by one inch here for my shoulder slope. I'll come in by one inch. Then my waistline, I'm going to be dividing my waist measurement by eight. All right, so whatever I have as my waist measurement, I'll divide it by eight. So when I divide my by eight, I'll be getting three and a half inches. So I'll mark my three and a half here. All right. Then for my shoulder that I came in by one inch, I'm going to be connecting it to my three and a half inches. So this is what I have. Now you can decide to make work with your full shoulder measurement, but my, for my for me, I'm not working with my full shoulder measurement. Then for the neck area, for the back neck, I'm going to be working with one and a half inches. For my neck depth i don't want it to be too deep that's what i'm working with one and a half inches and i'm going to be connecting it to my neck width. it's just a round neck measurement then for the front neck i'll be working with five inches you can decide to work with four depending on how deep you want it to be so this is going to be my This is for my back and this is for my front. So now I'll go ahead and cut this out. So this is what I have. Now I'm cutting out for my, I'm cutting out the back neck first. All right, so now I'm going to be placing this on my fabric. So, so now the next thing I did was to place my pattern paper on top of my fabric i folded it into two now the back is not going to be open there is no zip at the back so it's going to be closed so i folded my fabric the folded edge 
that's where the center point of my pen paper is now another thing i did was to add half an inch to the side and to the shoulder area because i've already added half an inch to my half length all right before drafting it so now I'll go ahead and cut it out So this is for my back. I also do the same thing. So this is for my back piece, all right? I also do the same thing for my front. So I went ahead to cut out my front neckline. I also fold my fabric into two. So so for my front piece now, my front is going to be having an opening in the front, alright? So what I went ahead to do, just like how we did for the back piece, I added half an inch round my pattern paper, alright? So now I'm going to be cutting it off. So I went ahead and did the same thing for the other fabric we are using. So this is the other piece of fabric we are using. I also went ahead and transferred it to it. Okay. Same thing with our peplon. So now we have four pieces. Our peplon is going to be like this one now. We have two pieces. This and this. So there is going to be a join. Alright. So this is what I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and cut out this one. So it's going to be one piece. Then this other part, I'm going to be cutting out. So it's going to be two pieces. All right. So one end will be joined to this end, and the other side will be joined to this end. That's what I'm doing. All right. So now the next time we're I'm going ahead to attach my este or my what's oh my este to my fabric. This is to serve as a stiffener. Alright, I also do the same thing for the other one. I'll go ahead and join the two shoulders together, this shoulder together, this shoulder together. The same thing for this other fabric. Done. This is what I have. I went ahead to place the two of them together. Okay, so now I'm going to be running a stitch. I'm going to start from here. Let's take, I'm starting from here. I'm going to run a stitch from here, round the neck, round this area to that end. Then I'm going to start from here again and close the side. Also do the same thing for this area, but I'm not going to be touching this bottom part. I'm not going to be touching it. And also this bottom part of this side, the front place piece, I'm not going to also be touching it. Okay, so that's what I'll go ahead and do now. I'm done now. The next thing I went ahead to do was to notch the round of it where I made my stitches. All right, I notched it. So we'll now turn it out. Now this is my peplum. Okay, In my last video I talked on how to cut a 720 degree peplum okay so now this is what i have this is one piece of it so now i'm going to go ahead and be joining them together all right so now i'm going to join this to this end and this other piece i'm going to be joining it to the other to this end just like what I have here, this one I've already joined it, so I'll go ahead and do the same thing here. Okay, now you can decide to use a stiffener or like an air stay or paper stay or gum stay or peplum stay for your peplum. But for this one, I'm not making use of any stiffener, I'm not putting any word in the it, right? But if you want to, if you want your fleet to or your peplum to stand out very well, you make use of air stay, peplum stay, or gum stay. No. The next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and join my peplums together, okay? But before then, I'm going to be, from this tip now, I'm going to be making a curve, okay?
because I'm going to be moving this end. Let's just put it this way. So now go ahead and cut it out. Then I will do the same thing I'm doing here to the my other piece of paper and that's the other fabric. I'll bring it down, place it on top of it and retrace it. I'll be placing this here and be cutting it out. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So now first is to pin the two peplums together. Okay. Now, if you watch closely, you see that the this piece is bigger than this one. This fabric is bigger or excess than this one. So, if yours is excess, it comes it comes out in excess. What you have to do is you don't have to worry. Just go ahead and trim off the excesses. All right. Then go ahead and sew. Run a stitch on it. So if it's excess, just go ahead and trim off the excess. Just as I'm doing. So after stitching, I also went ahead and made a notch at the edges. All right, I notched it so that when I turn it out, it's going to lap very well. All right, so just go ahead and notch round your peplum. When you are done, you now turn it. You turn out your peplum. You turn it out and give it. A good press, you iron it out, you iron it very well. So, this is what I did. I went ahead to attach this first piece first, okay, the first band to my dress. All right, so I'm going to flip it over this way near the center of my piece here. Now, I'm going to be joining them together. I'm going to run a stitch on them to close it up. Then, coming to this end. I'm going to be closing it up like this. After I run a stitch here, I'll close it up like this. So when I'm done attaching it, this is what I have. This is what it looks like. Okay. Now the next we are going to be attaching is our pinafore. All right. So now I'm going to pick the center piece. So this is the center. And I'm going to be attaching it to this end here. I'm going to go ahead and find the center of the back side this is my back piece right so i'll find the center and i notched it now i'll go ahead and place it here this is how i'm going to place it i want to be folding it how we're going to fold this now is just like how this is, I'm going to be putting in the two of them together, like fold half an inch of this and half, a, half an inch of this, okay? That's the first thing I'm going to do before attaching this. I'm going to fold half an inch of this and half an inch of this, then go ahead and iron it. Closely, what I'm doing.
So that's what I'm going to do till I get to the end. This is what I have. I went into folding half half inch on both sides of my fabric. Okay, and iron it in, iron it down. So now this is what I have. We'll be attaching. We'll be attaching the main piece that is our pinafore. Now you're going to find the center points of your dress. So this is the center point of my of my band. And this is the center of my piece of my pinafore. This is for the back side. I'll go ahead and place it there. And I'm going to place this in. And I'm going to be using a pin to hold it down because I'm going to be top stitching on it. Alright. So this is what I have here. Then I'm going to bring the back, the front. This is my front. And I'm going to be pushing it. Now, now my front is going to start from this way my peplum stopped. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put it in just the way I did for the back. At least half an inch should go in. Have an inch of your paper in, of your pinafore should go in. Then I'll go ahead and hold it down using my pin. I also do the same thing to this side. So this is what I have. Now go ahead and run a stitch, a top stitch on it. So that's what I'll go ahead to do now. When I'm done, this is what I have. So do subscribe to my channel, share to friends, and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell. See you in my next tutorial.